the purpose of the wave is to transfer energy from the one place to the another place so for example uh, let us say this energy will travel and let us say uh, here on the earth this energy going to reach but this energy coming from the sun is actually uh, carried away by the wave and the wave here we know call as the em waves and this em waves for example have a different uh, uh, frequency so you can divide into the all the em spectrum starting from the radio wave to the gamma rays but uh, the point of discussion here is that the wave has only one purpose the purpose of the wave is to transfer energy from one place to the another place and these waves are always made of a quantum of energy and in the case of em wave this quantum of energy known as the photons but in the case of solid so when you think about a case of solid so in the solid you can see that uh, there are many atoms and these atoms are attached together through a uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, electromagnetic forces and uh, when one atom because of any reason if you disturb one atom then this oscillation is going to also let neighboring atom oscillate so for example when you deposit some amount of energy here okay so because this energy this atom start oscillating and uh, this oscillation transfer to the neighboring atom and this way this energy going to travel in the solid so there is a wave produced here and this wave is what is known as the elastic wave okay and the quanta of this energy is what is known as the phonons so phonon is nothing but the quanta of the elastic wave and elastic wave kya hai elastic wave is the wave produced inside the solid because of the atomic oscillations similarly uh, in case of solid itself there are a uh, uh, class of materials called uh, magnetic material so see in the magnetic material uh, for example the case of you now uh, ferromagnets you can see that each atom act like a a uh, magnet so there are uh, these magnets are nothing but represented by a spin okay so these are the spin so if there are many atoms and each atom is acting like a magnet so remember the one spin is act like a magnet i will discuss in detail about uh, now this spin property so magnet means uh, this side become north pole then this side become a south pole so you can see there are many magnets many spin many magnets and these magnets are aligned or not parallelly and because of any reason let us say if a uh, one magnet displaces from their mean position let us say if it is a it is like this way and then displaces like this way then what going to happen when this magnet displaces because this is north pole and this also north pole so this north pole going to you now uh, create a force on this north pole so this also going to deviate this also going to deviate this also going to deviate and this also going to deviate so after some time this magnets again going to come back so pehle ka tha aise tha it will displace like this way and again come back i'm right so when it is going to come back then all the magnets going to come back i'm right so you can see that this uh, spin going to oscillate so if uh, you disturb one spin then all the spins going to disturb as a result there will be a wave produced okay and this wave is called spin wave okay and the quanta of this spin wave is what is known as a magnon